International rugby returns this November in the autumn tests. Scotland take on Tonga at Rugby Park Kilmarnock and current world champions New Zealand and Argentina come to BT Murrayfield. Tickets on sale now from £18. Join us for the autumn tests as one. Visit scottishrugby.org Hello and welcome to this week's Warriors HQ as we build up to Friday night's game with Bennett and Treviso on Halloween. Coming up on this week's show we've got highlights of our 15-13 win over Montpellier in the European Rugby Champions Cup. We've got all the latest news from Scotland Stadium and we speak to former Warrior Chris Cossiter about Glasgow's start to the season. This week, 18 Glasgow Warriors players travel to Newcastle for a Scotland training camp ahead of next month's via Google Autumn Tests. And included in the group was Peter Horn, who was called up to the squad this week. Elsewhere, club captain Al Kellogg has been selected to lead the Barbarians against Australia at Twickenham on Saturday. That game kicks off at 2.30 and is live on Sky Sports 2. This month, Warriors camps were held around the country. 80 children aged between P1 and S2 attended a camp at Lockinch in Glasgow and also for the first time ever 40 children attended a camp held at Highland RFC in Inverness. Aspiring under 15s to under 18s also had the opportunity to train like a professional in the Train Like a Warrior camp which returned in a new two day format at Scotston Stadium. As part of the camp Warrior Centre James Downey did a Q&A session. And finally, QBE, the specialist in business insurance, this week confirmed a new one-year extension to their official assurance partner sponsorship with the club. The QBE brand will continue to appear on the back of the Warriors shirt and around Scotston Stadium for the 2014-15 season. I think they've kicked on from where they finished off last year, really consistent, really, really tough to beat. Uh, and they're playing probably the best rugby they've played in terms of their attack. You know, the, the backs are scoring really, really good tries. The forwards are so abrasive and so they work so hard that you know they've just been able to. Even when they haven't played well, they've got no results, and when they have played well, they've been spectacular results. And you see those guys have that confidence. Um, you know, obviously that that confidence is you need that in national rugby, and there will be Glasgow guys in the team, and they have that winning habit, which is. It's great to get, you know, when you're in that groove and everything, you go on the pitch confident, you know that you can win. 
Uh, it's a great place to be. So I think you know, as we both played for them, it's you know they've moved on unbelievably well. And it's it's great to see them flying the flag for Scottish rugby and doing so well and, and getting respect from from outside Scotland. Because if you know Glasgow, you know they're a good team. But and now I think the rest of Europe is starting to set up and go. Actually, you know they are they are the real deal and. You know, we, I hope they you know kick on the season and um, you know keep winning in, in Europe and keep winning the league and, and do something special. With the upcoming internationals, Warriors HQ will go on a break, and we'll return on Wednesday, the 19th of November at 5 p.m. ahead of our game with Scarlets. Best of luck to Scotland against Argentina, New Zealand, and Tonga in the Viagogo Autumn Tests. International Rugby returns this November in the Autumn Tests. Scotland take on Tonga at Rugby Park Kilmarnock and current world champions New Zealand and Argentina come to BT Murrayfield. Tickets on sale now from £18. Join us for the Autumn Tests as one. Visit scottishrugby.org